On Monday, March 30th, the Lanphier Rams went up against the Fitzgerald Spartans at Warren Fitzgerald. With outstanding offense and driving defense, the boys in blue really showed the Spartans that no matter how fast they threw, how hard they hit, and how fast they ran, they couldn't best the Rams by any far stretch. The first game of the season against Fitz went really well. We scored a lot of runs, but that was besides the fact the team played really well together. When the energy was high, we kept the energy high. The guys that weren't playing as much as the guys that were were still up on their feet, cheering each other on. And that's the way it was against the second game, too. We had a really good game, let alone we didn't play against the best team. But our team has really good energy going into games. And if we can keep that high energy against teams that are a bit of a tougher challenge, I think we could have a good outcome for the rest of the season, so I'm hoping that things stay the same. With two runs scored by junior Alex Peace, one run scored by freshman Noah Fisher, one run scored by senior Scott Malice, one run scored by sophomore Ethan Clark, and one run scored by sophomore Brandon Holt in the second, third, and fourth innings, the foundation was set early on for a solid game against the Spartans, but even still the Rams came out of the game victorious. Uh, I think we played well. Many guys showed up to play better than I figured they'd play. We hit the ball well. Defense is pretty solid. Definitely have some room for improvement. In addition to all the runs scored by the Rams, the pitching went very well. Throwing a total of 10 strikeouts, senior Austin Frederick, junior Brendan Teigl, and sophomore Logan Smith held up their end of the bargain and proved to everyone that even with the pressure of it being their first league game, they can withstand the pressure and lead their team to a victory of 6-2 over the Spartans. As far as the first two games of the season go, it's difficult to judge what type of team we really are. Um, we had a lot of success in the second game against Lincoln. We won that game 13 to nothing. Uh, but they were uh, a team that you know really didn't present much of a challenge. Their pitching got a little bit wild. They didn't play well defensively. And in the first game, it was a little bit of the same as well. So it'll be interesting coming up in the next uh, few weeks here playing you know, teams like Frazier and Warren Woods Tower, who we anticipate them being pretty good baseball teams, uh, watching the, the level of play rise as well. You know, So um, the first two games, I thought we did OK. I think there's a lot of things that we need to improve upon, and that's going to come with the season going and you know, continuing with having such a young team. The Rams also had games on Wednesday, April 1st, and Thursday, April 2nd. Wednesday's game was against Lincoln High School at Lincoln High School. At Wednesday's game, the Rams played very well together as a team as well as individually, and it definitely showed in the final score of the game. Senior Trevor Glomet, freshman Noah Fisher, senior Scott Malice, senior Jeremy Thomas, and senior Brendan McCallum all brought in one score each for the Rams, and junior Brendan Heigl, sophomore Caleb Liskey, and sophomore Logan Smith, and sophomore Brandon Holt all brought an additional two runs apiece to add to the total of 13 runs scored by the Rams. As for the pitching, freshman Noah Fisher brought his A game and had two strikeouts total against Lincoln, and senior Scott Miles had an amazing pitching day and brought home a total of six strikeouts for the boys in blue. The games before we went on spring break went pretty well. Uh, we were 2-0. We beat uh, Fitz 6-2 and then Lincoln 13-0. Uh, two opponents we played weren't very good, but uh, we still played well for our first two games. Obviously, there's some stuff that we need to clean up uh, before we get into the bigger games this season, but there's a lot of positives that we can take out from the games, and uh, hopefully we can just keep moving forward. Don't forget to go watch the Rams play against Fraser High School at home at 4.30, Wednesday, April 15th, against Fraser High School at Fraser at 4.30 and Thursday, April 16th against Fraser High School at home at 4.30. The boys in blue are ready. Are you ready, Lightfair?